guys, Cindy out of here with my Arts Endeavors. How are we doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Guess what we're going to do today? We are going to play with, um, this is for Gina Aaron's design team. Now, if you guys saw my review on my creative year, um, on the 3rd, I believe it was, you saw that I how I made these, and um, if you're really in, if you're wondering, go ahead and check out that video. It's my creative year review for May, and I decided I wanted to use these um, when I made them. I actually had this thought in mind. I want to use them, and I want to use them for Gina's design team. So this month's prompt is batch type or variety, and when I when I was making these, I was like, you know what, okay, here's my batch, and here's my type, and here's my variety, because that's what we're going to do with these. Um, what I have here is I have, these are some of Gina's words, and I have them stamped out on the tricolor stamp pads. I've got a few of them. Um, some of these, I don't, I'm not going to do, I don't, I, I don't want to do these with the blues, but I love these, these with the different colors. So we're actually going to use these to create these fun little canvases today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got some bright blue, and I'm hoping this is the right blue. Look at that, I'm a poet. Bright blue, like bright blue. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, I hate it when that happens, it hurts my fingers. Um, and here's why. Ugh. Love those little paint things, I use those, believe it or not. So let's just I want to see if this is the right blue this is an old um, water brush and I have beat <laughs> the crap out of the brush so now I'm just gonna use it for this so I just want to kind of wake up some of the blues in the canvas um, I don't want to really paint over all of this luscious 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 color on the canvas itself but I want, you know what I want to get rid of that pink that pink's annoying me so we're gonna get rid of some pink maybe leave a little bit of it shine through but that's okay I'm just gonna get rid of most of it yeah that's good I don't mind it like that so apparently when I was doing these I decided pink was my color uh, yep no nope, it changed <laughs> See, that's what happens. Mood, you know, have you ever noticed that in your art space? Um, something you like one day, you can't stand it the next. And you know what? I consider that all okay. I have no problem with that. I'll just add a little more paint. Yes, I'm holding this in my mouth. Are <laughs> so <Sean>, honey? <laughs> I was actually holding the brush in my mouth. Oh, goodness. All right, let's just get rid of this. Like I said, I want to kind of tone down that pink and maybe brighten up a little bit of the blues on here. And I'm not worried about this looking fantastic at this point because there's more I want to do to these canvases. What? I'm not sure. But I know there's going to be more, so. Like I said, we're just toning down the pink waking up some of the blues yeah 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 so I hope you guys are all doing well um, I'm actually uh, working off a fibro flare I had a really bad one um, it started with a stiff neck and then it just went downhill from there and uh, yeah it was rough I, I really hope with research and whatever all these young physicians coming up or even the you know the experienced ones please 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 do some research and try to figure out how to get rid of these fibro flares because let me tell you it's not fun I'm ready for it to go away all right so let's do these kind of in order just because that's when they dry I am I am gonna get rid of all of this pink so we're gonna get rid of it make these blue so yeah other than that um, doing pretty well uh, hubs is home for the time being he's got to head back to New York here soon eventually that will all be done and he can stop 
traveling the the seat the you know the eastern coast. But for now, what has to be done has to be done. His parents own a camp up there, and he's been doing some um, work on that, uh, you know, stuff for them. So. All right, so now we've got the pink pretty well calmed down. Let me go ahead and dry these up, and I will be right back. All right, so what I did is I cut these out so that they, I think they'll fit pretty well, but um, I want to do, I've got some black out here, just some um, craft black. I just want to kind of make a little frame here in black. Got a little bit of that blue mixed in. And there is my phone, and I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. One of my air conditioning units not working, and I had to um, call the service to have them come out. Which is all good. Um, I'm not worried about it. Um, so, he's going to do his best either this afternoon or tomorrow morning, which is fine. So... Yeah, so I just, I just, I don't know, I wanted to give this a little bit of something. Maybe, maybe a black edge here. Let's try that. Yeah, let's do a black edge right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, um, like I said, I'm, I'm just doing okay. I'm all right. The fibro is what it is. My back is what it is. Life is good. Oh, I'm liking this. The black around those edges is really popping that canvas, and that's what I was looking for. So. I'm really excited. Um, Gina's got a bunch of new stencils coming out, which are going to be really, really cool to play with. Um, she's got some stencils. She's got more stickers in her Etsy shop. All kinds of goodies to play with. All right, so there's one. Just gonna set this aside, and let's do the same thing to this one. Sorry about the interrupting phone call, but I had to take that. My phone's usually not turned on when I'm filming, but um, yeah. And of course, don't you know? The minute you start filming, that's when people start calling. That's life. Some people you hear dogs in the bark background. Some people, you know, just depends on the life. I never claim to be a professional, that's for sure. So I just have fun. And I really hope that's what you guys do with your art, is just have fun with it. You know, that's what life's about. Think about it. If you, if you spend your entire time living and don't enjoy it or don't have fun or you know don't have great friends that you can share it with or um, anything you know it's it's you're only here around here once so you might as well enjoy what you've got enjoy what you can do when you can do it so funny yesterday I was frustrated because I had to do a basically a couch day it was I was in a lot of pain and I kind of got frustrated with myself and I thought you know what no I can't get this way so I sat and I watched um, I just binged watched on SWAT and I don't know a couple other shows and uh, yeah those are, those are cool aren't they Oops, let's do this one last one then we're gonna let these dry really well and then we'll come back and get these words put on here which I thought were really cool and see what else we're gonna do I have an idea of something I want to try I just don't know if it's gonna work or not so but we're gonna try and see what we can do with these fun 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 
Yeah, definitely check out the review. I had a I had a lot of fun making these, and I'm really excited because there's other things um, from that review that I want to do. So there's a lot of really cool ideas in it. If I remember, I will put the link to the review in the description below. Again, if I don't remember to, guys, just let me know and I will add it in. You know, just leave me a note. Say, hey, where's the link? And I'll we'll put it in. Or if you just go look at my channel, you'll see um, the review on my channel. All right, so... Again, I'm not being, see, I'm not being really um, specific with this. I just, I want it to play a little bit. So, let's set this aside. Let me see now. I'm going to add more black to this one because I didn't really cover it. I'm kind of liking that black. And yeah, see, they're all different shapes. That's all right. I don't mind, right? And then these, we're going to have to do something with these. These can't just stay stark white. Aren't they going to look cool in there? So, okay, let me let these dry and I will be back. All right, so these are all completely dry. <clears throat> Got my words here. I'm just going to take off oops, some of the corners on these. see yeah it's been quite a few days since I've been working on these um, it's actually been raining here um, for like the last three or four days and uh, yeah rain's not good for me um, a lot of pain so I'm finally getting back at it yay Wisdom, smile, and love. Now, <clears throat> these are little die cuts. Um, about a week ago, my husband and I went to this scrapbooking store um, not far from here. Oh, that's in backwards. It says wild and free. But um, they had these really cool, I'll actually show you the other ones I got too. They have these really cool die cuts, and they're from a place called Dusty Attic, which I believe is over in the UK. It says AU, so maybe. Um, but yeah, they had these die cuts, which I thought were really, really, really cool. So um, <clears throat> I decided to take this one, and they had the three feathers in it, and I thought the three feathers would go really cool on this. So that's where I got those from. And what we're... Oops, wrong way. What we're going to do... This is just a quarter rounder by Creative Memories. Had that for a long time. Um, yeah. These are going to go on here. But before we do that, I want to get rid of some of that white. Come on. So I've got my distress inks out here, and I've got my dabbers. And I pretty much interchangeably use whatever color I'm doing. Um, let's get some blue on here. Come on. Sometimes I have to talk nice to these little guys because they don't like to come out. <clears throat> now I do have um, the the things on the bottom. See, and some of them are pretty new, but I really like using these. Um, I find I have more control that way. So I, you know, I will choose these overall most of the time compared to the other blender. And again, that's just a personal preference. And I'm just kind of putting a little bit of a border on here just so that they're not all stark white. <clears throat> and I used um, Blueprint Sketch is what the name of that color was. Now I am going to just... I 
have it. I like to heat set it. Okay, now let's see. What can we do with these? Um, like I said, these are little die cuts. I don't think they don't have any stick around them. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take some of this um, purple, which is Dusty Concord Grape. I'm going to go back in with this. This one I should have used for my purples. <clears throat> okay. And I just want to do a little bit of purple, then we're going to do a little bit of blue, maybe a touch of yellow, just kind of to make them work in with this other um, part of the, can the canvases. Let's use Peacock. No, let's use Chipped Sapphire. And I got my blue dauber this time. And I just want to, I'm not trying to make them um, completely solid. I just, I'm just trying to add a little bit of color here and there. <clears throat> Pardon me, I got a frog in my throat this morning. And it is still morning. Yay, I'm working on my coffee. It's almost done. But working on it. Okay, so there's that one. Now I do want to do, because I got just a little bit of yellow on these canvases. Grab a yellow. There's my yellow dauber. Um, let's see, fossilized amber. Let's see what this does. Yeah, that works. I like it. Throw some yellow on there. All right. So there's that. Now I am going to just hit these real quick with a heat gun. And then we're going to start putting these down. Let me grab my tacky glue. This I'm actually going to put on with Elmer's. All that's in here is this is just like a school glue. Um, I was looking for an easier way to use some of the school glue and I got pulled that out of my cupboard the other day and I thought you know this is a great idea I don't even know I think I may have gotten these bottles from American Science and Surplus maybe um, but I enjoy using the bottles let me see I'm gonna put this here because I'm going to tacky glue this Here. Actually, I want to put this down a little bit more. Okay. Kind of like that. that one kind of straight kind of notice I said kind of straight and I'm going to put this one here oops stay on there it's going to stay down making sure they're staying on just pushing them really well this one um, the biggest thing I'm seeing with these bottles I've got to be really careful about is getting the glue on the outside because it'll glue it shut but yeah I know you can put Vaseline on it yeah 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 no I just figure it out as I go along I'm gonna put smile cockeyed this way And then we're going to tacky glue. Come on. This 
right there. Now, I don't like the fact that I'm seeing a lot of yellow on here, but I'm not seeing that blue. So I'm just going to take the dauber that I used and just kind of darken up some of that blue. Oops, get back here, you. Alright, I'm going to dry this up real quick. I'm going to hit it with a heat gun. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to play around with some pearl pens and some glitter pens and just do a little bit of detail on it. I'll be right back. Alright, so now I'm just going to put a little bit of this glitter glue. This is old. It's from Viva. Um, it says German glitter glue. I'm not sure it's quite German, but whatever. It's glitter glue. I'm just going to throw a little bit on here. Just kind of highlight the feather a touch. Okay, and then I want to take this color because it kind of brings out the little bit of the pink in there. And this is, um, they call it a pearl pen. And basically what you do is you make these little pearls of color. And I'll show you. I'm just going to take these little pearls and just go all the way around the outside. And I will zoom in here in a second and show you. I love my pearl pens. I actually finally found them after moving. I was like, where are they? And I found them. A great way to add just a little bit. Let me show you. Oops. See, so it adds that just that little bit of dimension there. Right? Come on, camera. Alright, so let's do another one. And I like them because they're really easy to um, control. It just takes a very slight amount of pressure. And you have, you can make dots. And you can make them as small or as big as you want. So it really depends on how much pressure you put on on your um, pen. And for these, because they're, these are really small canvases, I'm just doing really small dots. Make sure I'm still in frame. Now I actually, I think I'm going to take this one again. I'm going to do the third one, but I just noticed something. On Gina's um, stamp, she has those little bitty, tiny dots in there. So let's give those a touch of glitter. Just a touch. Just a touch of glitter. And then it kind of ties the whole thing in. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I'm going to do that with this one as well. Just a little touch of glitter. I'm going to do it on the I and then on the E. There's little circles that she has drawn. All right, so let's go back to, actually, let's do this while I have it out. <clears throat> Just gonna do the glitter. Doo -doo. All right, so there's the glitter. 
And see, these are just, cut. they're pearl, P-E-A-R-L, pearl pens. Viva Decor Pearl Pen. This one's called Magenta, but it looks purple to me. And that's actually covering up the bottom. So, all right, let me zoom back out. And here we go. Here is this month's prompt for Gina Aaron's design team. And it is batch type and variety. Um, so, here's my batch or my type of canvases or my little variety. So, actually, all three prompts, all three words will work with this. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Definitely look in the description box below and you'll see the links to all of the other um, design team members, uh, their artists, and see what their take is on this month's prompt. Don't forget to check out Gina's Etsy shop. Um, if I remember, hopefully I'll put the link in the description below. And if you guys have any questions, don't forget to you know comment, share, subscribe, like. Um, I'll answer any questions you have. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about, and happy creating. I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.